this video me on one watch i make this video few days ago this na consigne pastor bishop oyedepo the way they may in daughter hold the nigeria government now done the cause big yawa for that wedding wahala this video i made it about a week ago very interesting please watch listen christians please pay attention for this my video before you drop comment at all no leave comments if you don't watch the video finish thank you chelsea brown the first person that commented on my last video god bless you chelsea brown thank you very much kudos hello viewers thank you very much for stopping god bless you i really appreciate if today's your first time please consider subscribing if you have done that already thank you my returning subscribers i really appreciate today i want to talk about nobody but bishop oyedepo bishop oyedepo is a very stubborn man of god since the man of god and they call bishop oyedepo I not go disrespect him. I go address him as man of God. Despite they know they do nothing apart from stealing systematically from the poor. Yes, all these types and offerings they have been collecting for years from the Mughal's hand. What are they doing with those money? Apart from living a lavishing lifestyle, private jets, Lazarus cars all kinds of things that doesn't please God. At the end of the day, your pastor would preach for church, say, vanity upon vanity. All money is the root of all evil. Still, they will not stop requesting and asking church members to bring money. And with force, as if they are your creator. Even God that created you did not requested a dime from you. How much did you pay before you were created? Nothing. But your pastor wants you to pay for even the hair you breathe. Your pastor wants you to pay for it. Your pastor protect, uh, portrays their self as semi-god on earth. I can never bow down for no man of God. Never bow down for them to pray for me. Never. If they cannot pray for me while I am standing, that means that prayer is not for me. I can't bow for no man of God. There is no man of God I will bow for. When they call the man of God, but me, I don't call the man of God. I call them by their name. Pastor Bishop Uyedekbo, David Uyedekbo, Pastor Suleiman, Pastor Bakari, Pastor Coco Mama, yes, because I'm pastor too. I call them by my name. I call them by their name rather. I can never call them man of God. Man of God. Man of God collecting from me. Man of God stealing from me systematically. Man of God threatening me, threatening my life. If I pay, if I fail to pay, if I fail to pay tithe and offering. You see how churches these days they pray? If you no pay your tithe, things will be tight for you. If you no do this, everything about churches these days is giving, giving, giving. Apart from giving, then what next? Where is your soul going on the last day? When I know they think about that. Where is your pastor going on the last day? Is your pastor truly serving God? That one, a question to be asked. Question me, you're supposed to think. Question me, you're supposed to ask God to reveal to you as a child of God. God, show me if this church I am in, if it is the right place for me, or if this church will lead me to heaven. No, I know they pray that one because it's a concern when a, when a pastor don't really give one the assurance, say, just pay your tithe and offering door all doors will be open for you you go go heaven and praying for you. you don't even need to pray 
Some pastors will tell you, don't need to pray. I'll be doing the prayers for you. Just keep paying your tithes, your offerings, so your seed, first seed, second seed, middle seed, all kinds of seed. And I don't pay everything. What left? If your pastor won't do marriage, and I contribute for him. He won't do fasting. When I they contribute, they buy fruits for her to help on her fast. Everything now, and I they don't about myself. Pastor do for you, and you pay. You see how when I bring down work courage. But anyway, the reason why I say Pastor E, Pastor Bishop David Oyedepo is a very stubborn man. Nah, because when I know very well, say for Nigeria, now nah, nah, completely locked down because of this coro uh, coro matter. You understand? But this man just yesterday, yeah, just wedding wedding hold in his church in own daughter wedded yesterday wedding ceremony pastor bishop Uyedeko daughter wedded yesterday for this lockdown period for this not too much gathering even the government said it very clearly limited people to gather for one place and old people should not gather in a place where it's, there is public area where people they gather where we maybe like church markets government banned hold people people are above 60 I mean they don't see them for any gatherings but still our men of god may they preach to us respect your headers the same people they violate the law how can bishop Yedepo just you know that wedding that hold yesterday can't that wedding wait until this lockdown is over? Less than maybe three months coming, maybe maybe from now in November maximum, the lockdown don't finish. Why pastor and bishop? Because only him be pastor, only him be bishop. Why he go proceed with that wedding yesterday? Because the wedding hold yesterday. And if he is not in agreement, that wedding can't hold. Just because this bishop and the government are just like cut and right, day and night, anything the government approves, this this bishop will disapprove it. As if he gets a own country, as if he is not from Nigeria, like in dwelling places not there for nigeria you get your church for nigeria you get your houses for nigeria and you chooses to disobey the government the rules and the regulations of the government now lockdown period no any gathering of 200 people social distances but still pastors they violate the laws over preach to their members to violate the laws and you call that a house of god and you call them man of god god cannot how can pastor just disobey rules and regulations by government and you want god to bless you because those governments now god now create them too now god everything they inside the bible morning with the worship they store the day and night if you're men of god bishops senior pastors your daddy Jews, go disobey the government more or less you just the followers that means your pastor they indirectly tell you to disobey the government and they'll go as well tell you to disobey your parents too you can only respect them nobody can talk trash to pastors anyhow if you dare even the members the followers the moguls they will come for you they respect their pastors so much. Anything their pastors say, they let they disagree with them. But anything governments may get the country say, Una, they disagree with them. Government go approves, Una go disapprove. Just because now Muslim people they rule a bit how? Because when Jonathan they rule, everything all happen like this. It's like this government and the Christians, then they in disagreement they are not knowing that they disagree what did they fight what did they find but the government is the government the government they rule the country and then when they set rules nobody need to go against that rules and we will be christian we will serve god 
big bible they teach us to respect our headers the government are our headers those people made the law they want a bible they want to still respect that same law but your pastor could tell you to disobey the law and the same pastor could tell you to make you respect him anything in talk is the final like what's in the wrong if pastor e a adebo he waits two months later before this wedding hold waiting will happen september october maximum everything will just finish why proceed with that wedding big government lock down everywhere some people will say ah keep quiet what are you saying what do you know nobody talk to the man of god anyhow they are men of god they are touched not anointed leave them for god to judge and hey, what about the marketplace and hey, what about the place of studies people they go market and people they go school and why house of god nothing can happen who tell you say nothing can happen for house of god if nothing can happen why your pastor anointing or you never kill this corona de gra why why the anointing oil they never send and go some pizza forest may they take go push all those uh and boko come up for there so we should stop deceiving ourselves some christians i beg please study your bible understand it very well no misinterpret the bible don't get it twisted the bible said respect your headers respect the government everything is written in the bible why are we going against the word of god just because your pastor encourages you to disobey the government then you feel you are doing the right thing by disobeying the same government that can bundle you any given time and your pastor will never come to your rescue when things happen nigeria pastors i don't know what they will be wrong with some of them truth like this wedding if, if they postpone this wedding till november or better still, December, waiting go happen. The boyfriend of uh, the Falansi may come marry Bishop Oyedeko's daughter. Waiting go happen. After all, they the carry one before they marry. So, waiting, now they were the garment they want, we're not the worry to wear her. When I still they do, not carry what they go, no man, no man, when I go marry, pray for forgiveness. Like, waiting be all this, the rush go marry. On the process when you get married now, okay, let's assume say now child now now house of God according to now say corona good day or and people who couldn't tell you now say somebody with corona day for that country because some people they say corona they exist who tell you say corona they exist you know the sweet thing they happen for other part of the world if they exist only say for Nigeria you know they rampart the way our country people they escalate them but is existing. Koro, they exist. If they exist for Nigeria, they day, you know, plenty. What in Kila Abakari? No, be Koro. The woman on Mrs. Koro, no, be Kila. So, our pastors now, Bishop, they let us know say, when you are serving God, Koro no go come meet you. Now, when you are not serving God, then Koro go come. So, the people made on died so far all over the world america china china italy what are the pronounce and i say i know the italy pronounce america china italy the people may not die for their so far for this corona matter like they know they serve god they are not born again christians they are pagans indo worshippers abi they don't know god now nigeria now na call no god nigeria mean na dey the the bad bad thing start na dey in hand kuru kere waka movement may no gel everything made the gospel of god they are against with the doan for them so for na mind na na dey na god dey na dey na na god na they exist na dey give una the god say as na god dey the country nothing will happen abi no be waiting na thing be that i beg I know one make I know one verse. You know see the way I calm my voice now. You know see the way as everywhere just cool, just quiet. Bishop Oyedepo. Bishop Oyedepo is a very stubborn man. 
stubborn man of God, not even man. In whom God can't join in matter. God no be stubborn man. No. God now peaceful, lovely, patient, innocent person. That is when they say the way woman be they look, and so God they look. God created those in his image. He's a peaceful, gentle, innocent woman be. Nigeria pastors, we are not be pastors, so we are not be children of God. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Now different people now na be. Now we are know who na they serve. Definitely Nigeria pastors na money who na they serve. We are not they serve God. And Nigeria Christians, we are not they serve God. Now only they go to church, go show, we are find clothes, no na wear. We are they go to church, go try to intimidate people with on a success when I don't achieve when I achieve men so far when I know they serve God more we know they deceive ourselves the kind of disrespect the level of disrespect for that country nobody get respect for anybody small picking go finish elderly person na 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 the same one they claim so na they serve God yo this very bishop boye depo he disagree completely with this government. Government say they want to bring organization, may go they check what they happen for charity organization, churches, mosques, any religious and the charity organization may money they enter, which is right because the government are repairing the roads, so many things that they repair that they fees for that country and they need revenue. We paid taxes as long as you are in Nigeria and you are banking your money, definitely you are paying taxes. And as a Christian, you pay tithes to the church pastors, to your church pastors. So if you can pay tithes to your church pastors, and your pastors are collecting millions of members' tithes and offerings on a weekly basis or monthly, it depends. So why won't the government demand their own tax from the pastors, since the pastors are collecting a huge amount of money from their members? So, Pastor E, Pastor, Pastor E, E, Adeboe, they enter my wife too for, too like this man, Sha. If they say it don't hold. I need to like money. That my man don't carry me go do money. Now, only one, one billion, one, one dollars, ten, what if one dollars, one, one million dollars, now they request. That man like money. Pastor E, Adeboe, if to say na, if to say na, Ibo man, I go say, okay, Ibo blood, because we, the Afrans, will like money. Hey, oh, Yoruba man, he love money, oh. So, Pastor Bishop Uyedepo, stop disrespecting the government. The government are the government. Even if you have the whole Nigerians as your members, the government can still insist, say, this must happen and this must not happen. And so, will come to pass. So, you dare not, no come disagree with the government, come cause problem for the church members because now the church members go suffer. The pastors will just stand back. You know, and they push all the mugus may go fight government and government go so deal with you now the mugus. So now after at the end of the day they say when two elephants fight, now the grand is suffer and when the government and here they put now start to they fight. The government now, the people now go suffer. Is it proper for Pastor Bishop Yedeko to disagree with the government? Say the government don't get right to check Waiting they happen for church, how money they come, how money not they come. It good. If it good, maybe so now don't get sense. You know why? Because you, as a Nigeria, you are paying taxes one way or the other. The same you will still pay tithe and offering. Only you pay, 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 pay. Waiting stop your pastor because churches are businesses, business centers. Yes, they are earning more than the government. They no get with it that they sell. They no get with it that they that is no they know they all their own are plus. They just open church, you come, you pay. They know they give you food for there. They know they cook nothing. Just come pay. Come now. Very, very original business centers now in the churches. You see where people they go extra lengths because they want open church. Some they go stiff safe because they want to use the money take establish churches if you know they bring money if not be business nobody go they proceed one build church one get more members if churches they collect millions millions from members 
government need to collect taxes from them because government they repair roads that leads to most churches for our pastors to say government cannot tell them what to do or government no get right over their money na lie na lie because government na get that country if pastor bishop Uyedepo no one agree and let government to control everything make it pack in load come up for that country if you go ghana kotono go build the churches there we no need greedy person for that country because if they won't collect money from us today if you see the way they go they release fire of god if you don't pay if you don't pay the release of the fire of god eh? i don't know that the god might deserve them. Maybe not God with capital and with small G. Oh yeah, come and pay your revenue as a pastor, your tax. They say, how dare the government? Eh, so now only when I go to the ask on a mogu to pay. Oh, Christians. Ah. When I laugh Muslims say they no go go evil. Abi? Muslims, they know their head no colo like some Christians may just they carry away. Now just they carry the way by on a pastor behavior. And I don't see where Muslim a man get private jets or get lesser cars. But our pastors, all of them get lesser cars, universities, schools, private jets, everything. They they are serving God. They know if you serve God with only one car, serve God with a only one houses, get houses full every everything. They say they are businessmen. Where are their businesses? Church is a booming business these days. And as a business center, government must collect tax. They no bond that Christian when they go say they want to eh, they want to fight the church. They are fighting the church. It's a lie. Don't let your pastor to deceive you. Don't let your pastor to brainwash you. The government and government know they fight nobody. If government say churches should start paying taxes today, as a good Christian, support that idea because they will use those taxes to repair the road. Besides, the Bible says we should respect the government. It's written in the Bible. Don't let your pastor to use you to fight his fight. Government can tell you to pay taxes and you dare not fight them or is their rights because pastors are collecting as long as as long as they are collecting they must surely pay taxes nobody is bigger than the government not only all your daddy geos put together that is the reason why i like this uh, pastor he had boy he had boy need to argue with pastor uh, government in the man smart you know, as they follow them, where, 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 you know, they disagree with government at all. At all, you see, say government they give us stress. Maybe at the end of the day, these taxes may they won't pay. Pastor, he he had a church, no go won't pay. Not be because of say a simple job day for the government, to, not because the man no they disagree or challenge, you know, government. But he he had a boy, he mouth big. Pastor Suleiman be they tried before, but. As they worry and when they won't go catch them for a kid, since then you run in the house. You just cook all day, they <coughs> just the ginger, the swagger of all the women for church day. You know, they challenge government again because government really, they really won't deal with Suleiman that time. He, if not because of the former governor of a kid, Fayoshe. <laughs> Fayoshe make an Iran. He escaped. Since then, Suleiman know the chook mat for government matter again. Instead, they pray for the government now. But uh, this Bishop Oyedepo, now he get big mouth and nobody can challenge him because he get many churches, many branches. He's the biggest pastor in Africa. In fact, the richest pastor in the world. In case you don't know, try to Google it. He's the richest pastor in the world. So if they brag, they do baga 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 because he gets money pass over Nigeria government safe. But as long as you're living in the country, you must abide to their rules and the government must do what they think is right for everybody. You are not only the person paying taxes. All Nigerians, including all your church members, are paying taxes. So you as their leader, you the owner of the church, the owner of the business rather, because like I said, churches are business centers. This is, you must pay. 
I pay tax to the government. I pay tithes to you, my pastor. So you want your my pastor? Where are you paying your own? No, only to your family. Build empires. At the end of the day, go to brag as if now your sweat, not knowing say now the sweat of poor people that contributed to make you to be in that position. And call yourself pastors. Me, I call them barawos. Olays and four one and Yahoo Yahoo boys are much more better than these people for real because sometimes Yahoo boys do give away, they touch lives, do so many things. But your pastors they are so greedy and they have everything they want for themselves, even extra. But the, the greediness in higher places now they get for their bottom heart. Make a step up for this bus stop, Jerry. Make I go another level. Thank you very much, my country people. Pastor E.E. Adebo, you're so... Ah, why I like to call Pastor E.E. Adebo a God? I love this, Masha, because he loves money. Pastor E.E. Adebo, he loves money so much. And I make a lover. So that means if, if to say the man, they like women, like uh, uh, Pastor Suleiman. Ah, maybe I for being concubine. Ah, I for chop money. You see, Pastor Suleiman may not just... Poor man compared to Pastor E. Adeboye. See the kind mil millions, the kind dollars, euros, pounds, thousands of pounds, dollars, euros, maybe they wire into women accounts. Stephanie gave us proof now. She showed us proof where they take the wire money into our accounts, body, brain, brain. People may not get sense, say, now Photoshop. Ah, Nigeria Christians. God need to use that olden days rewind. Let me tell you the rewind cassette. Cassette, no, no, no. This uh, movie cassette. God need to rewind on our brain with that cassette. Let me tell you the, you understand that olden days rewind. Let me rewind on our brain.